Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about how to do an iCloud backup. Now, maybe you are upgrading to a new phone and you want to transfer all of your data. Maybe you want to prevent data loss if you break the phone or have it stolen. Or maybe it's the most common issue, which is the notification that says not enough storage on your iCloud account. In today's video, we're going to talk about how to manage your iCloud storage and also how to actually do the physical backup. So to start things off, we're going to make sure that the device is connected to Wi-Fi. Then we're going to go to settings, your name, and tap on the iCloud logo. Now from here, we can manage the actual storage of your iCloud account. So with Apple, they give you five gigabytes for free, which in my opinion is not a lot. Five gigs fills up like that, and you definitely need more to save all of your photos, videos, apps, everything. So if you do choose to upgrade your iCloud storage, it basically works as a subscription model. So out of the plans right here, you can see 99 cents for 50 gigs of iCloud storage, $299 for 200 gigs, and $999 for 2 terabytes. So since it is a subscription, you would basically pay that once a month in order to have access to that iCloud storage. Another thing to keep in mind is if you go with the 200 gigabyte subscription for iCloud storage is you actually get family sharing with that as well. And what that means is you can actually share that iCloud storage with up to five people, which is great because it eliminates the need for everyone to have their own separate subscription. And now to actually choose which one you want. So we're going to hit manage storage and then it's going to give you all of the options right here. You pick which one you want and then you proceed with the payment. My prices on my phone are going to be a little bit different due to me being in Canada. Now once you have chosen which storage level you want to go with, to actually do the physical backup what we're going to do is connect the device to Wi-Fi. Step number two is go to settings, your name, and tap on to iCloud. Then you're going to scroll down to iCloud backup. Step Step number four is you are going to tap backup now and then you're actually going to just wait to make sure the phone is connected to Wi-Fi the whole time until that backup is completed and then when it is you are all set. Another thing to keep in mind is you can actually do them manually like every time you want to do a backup you go do all the steps we just said and hit backup now or you can set it up with automatic backups which is a lot easier and it normally is done at night when it's plugged in and connected to Wi-Fi and you never have to worry about actually doing the backup yourself it just automatically does it which is super convenient. You can also check and see what has successfully saved to iCloud by going to iCloud.com. You just log into your account and then everything that you have saved to iCloud will actually be right there. So that's just a really good way of double checking you know if your photos or videos that you want saved are actually saved. And that is pretty much it guys. Super simple for an iCloud backup. It's really just a matter of updating your storage levels and then just going through the steps that we talked about. It's the same for pretty much every Apple device. If this video helped you out, make sure you smash the like button and subscribe. I will be posting more tech tutorial videos because I know a lot of people really, really like those. And I want to help you guys get the most out of your devices. So of course, I'm going to be making the content. But for now, that is the end of the video, guys. I hope this helped you out. Lots of videos to come. So make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you guys all have a great day and I will see you guys in the next video.